95-year-old Yakiv Pauli is bundled out of his New York apartment and onto a plane bound for Germany. His crime? The U.S. Department of Justice says he was actually a guard at the Trevniki forced labor camp in Nazi-occupied Poland and that he lied to gain entry into the U.S. We think that there's enough evidence to show that he used a gun to force people to stay in a camp and that camp killed them. We think that the evidence shows that uh, he is guilty. He'd entered the country in 1949, claiming he'd been a farmer and a factory worker during World War II. When confronted by Justice Department investigators, he admitted the lie and was stripped of his citizenship in 2003. Since then, protesters have periodically gathered outside his home in New York, warning neighbors of a Nazi in their midst. Pali had not been deported before because Germany, Poland, the Ukraine and other countries had refused to accept him. But after lengthy negotiations, he was finally flown away in a stretcher to Dusseldorf. Germany's decision to take Mr. Pali follows intense lobbying by the Trump administration and a new German government, which brought fresh energy to seeing the matter through. But the move is largely symbolic because officials in Germany have repeatedly said there's not enough documentary evidence against him. The deportation itself won't restart the investigation because this does not change the evidence or the suspicion of the crime. A new investigation would only be considered if the assessment of a legal nature were to change or if actual new evidence were to become known, which would substantiate this suspicion. The local German government in Warrendorf County near Munster said Pali would be taken to a care home facility in Arlen, but it's unclear if he will remain there. Katie Dartford for Euronews.